This is my 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD Off-Road. This is the third generation model of the Toyota Tacoma. In today's video, I wanna talk about the gas mileage impact that I've seen by increasing the tire size on my truck to a 265-75 R16 and giving the truck a two inch lift in the front and a one inch lift in the rear. Now, this truck is rated by the EPA at 18 miles per gallon in the city and 23 miles per gallon on the highway. Prior to doing the lift or tire upgrade, my gas mileage was sitting at about 20 miles per gallon. And so it was right on par with that EPA rating. Uh, it's obviously a balance of city and highway driving. I'd say that I do about 50-50 between the two. Now, I did a lift kit on the truck about a year ago. I added a two inch rough country spacer in the front, a one inch toy tech block in the rear. And after doing that upgrade, I saw the gas mileage drop by about a half to one mile per gallon. So that dropped me to a total average of somewhere between 19 to 19 and a half miles per gallon. Recently, I upgraded the tires to a Goodyear Wrangler Ultra Train AT. As I mentioned, it is a 265-75 R16. Uh, that's compared with the 265-70 R16 that comes stock on the truck. And so uh, basically it's increasing this uh, height dimension on the tire. The other change that you'll see is that it's a much more aggressive tire than what you get with the stock tires on the Tacoma. Not only is the tread pattern very thick, but the sidewalls are more aggressive, and it's also a much heavier tire. Far better traction and better for off-road driving conditions. Now, after doing this tire upgrade, I saw my gas mileage drop about one and a half miles per gallon. Um, so that put me down to about a total average of 18 miles per gallon on the truck. And so it's not a terrible drop, but definitely an impact between the tires and the lift kit. Now, while the truck computer is gonna tell me that I'm getting about 18 miles per gallon, it's actually a little more complicated than that. If you think about it, when you increase the depth of that tire size, what you're effectively doing is increasing the overall circumference of the tire as well. Um, what that means is that the computer on the truck thinks that every time that the wheel's spinning, it's traveling a certain distance and it's actually traveling a longer distance. And so what that's gonna do is it's gonna drop the fuel economy rating that you're seeing on that computer screen. It's also gonna be registering a slower speed than what you're actually going on the speedometer. And the odometer is also gonna be inaccurate, uh, reporting fewer miles than you're actually driving. And so if you bought a used truck that had uh, large oversized wheels and tires on it, um, the odometer is actually gonna be incorrect unless they made changes to the computer. Um, it's gonna be showing far fewer miles on the odometer than what that truck's actually traveled. Let me go through the calculations real quick. Now the first step to calculating that impact is understanding tire sizes. On the TRD off-road, the tire size from the factory is a 265-70 R16. The 265 is the width of the tire, 265 millimeters. The 70 is the aspect ratio, which is a percentage uh, reflection of the width on the total depth. So that means you take 265 times 70% or 0.7, and that will give you the total depth of the tire, which is 185.5 millimeters. And then the R16 uh, is the wheel size. And so um, we've got 185.5 millimeters for that total depth of the tire on the stock tires. With the 75, you do the same thing. You'd take 265 times 0.75, and that would give you a depth of 198.75 millimeters. Now the next step is to calculate circumference. Uh, circumference is two times pi times the radius of the wheel tire combination. Now, as I mentioned, we've got a 16 inch wheel. So that translates to a diameter of 406.4 millimeters. So that's the total height of the wheel. Um, add that to the height that we had for each of the tire sizes and then divide by two to get radius. So then what we'll find is on the 70s, your total radius wheel tire combination is 295.95 millimeters. Radius for the um, 75s is 302.575 millimeters. Um, then throw that into that formula, so that's the radius, uh, multiply times two times pi, and you'll find that the circumference of the 70s is 1860 millimeters, and circumference with the 75s is 1901. That's a difference of 41 millimeters. Next, what you can do is take a percentage. And so um, if the original tire is a, um, is a 70 aspect ratio, 
Um, that means that the circumference is 1860 millimeters. You're seeing a difference of 41 millimeters jumping up to that 75. So take 41, divide it by 1860, and that gives you a difference in percentage of 2.2%. What that means is you can multiply that 2.2% times each of those other numbers to calculate what the impact is. Now to give you a few examples, let's say that you're going 60 miles an hour down the road, or at least you think you are. Multiply that 2.2% times 60 miles an hour and what you'll find is that you're actually going 61.3 miles per hour. And so you're gonna be going faster than you think you are because the computer sees when you're rotating, it thinks that you're traveling a shorter distance than you really are. Um, on the same token, let's say that you drive 100,000 miles uh, with the 265-75 R16 versus the stock tires. What's going to happen is you're actually going to be driving 2,200 miles extra from what the truck thinks that you're driving. And so um, it's going to register lower. You're going to have actually driven um, 100, 000, or 102,200 miles when the computer thinks that you only drove 100,000 miles. And so it's actually a benefit in that sense because my truck is gonna register as having fewer miles. For somebody that doesn't know the difference, um, I'm gonna be able to sell the truck as a lower mileage truck than it really is. Um, the last impact that we see is on the gas mileage. Just for the sake of making the math easy, let's say that I typically average 20 miles per gallon in the truck, I'm actually averaging 20.44 miles per gallon. Uh, you get that by cross multiplying. So if you've got 20 miles per gallon divided by 1860 millimeters, you put that equal to X over 1901 millimeters, you take 20 divided by 1860, and then you multiply times 1901, that will give you that number. So um, as you can see, the tires have quite an impact on the truck in terms of the gas mileage, the odometer, the speedometer, um, and you got to keep that in mind as part of that overall total. So what we're finding here is that the gas mileage is actually a little less than a half mile per gallon better than what I'm really seeing. And so what I'd say is that the true gas mileage on the uh, Tacoma with the two inch, one inch lift and the Goodyear Ultra Trains is actually about 18 and a half miles per gallon, even though the computer is registering as 18 miles per gallon. And so in total, I'm seeing about a one and a half mile per gallon drop with the two inch, one inch lift and the tire upgrade. Uh, not ideal, but it's not as bad as it could be. Certainly a lot of lift kits and trucks, truck tires out there are gonna have a much more significant impact on that overall uh, mile per gallon rating. Uh, in my opinion, it really adds a lot in terms of the overall appearance of the truck. Um, I've also got a Volkswagen e-Golf as my other vehicle. And so um, this vehicle spends a lot of time in the garage, uh, use it for work purposes, for YouTube, um, and you know, occasional off-roading trips um, and whatnot. The e-golf is kind of my day-to-day -day driver. And so having a one and a half mile per gallon impact on the truck isn't that significant in the long term. So that's a total summary of how uh, gas mileage has been impacted with the tire and lift increase. If you have any comments or questions, love to get those in the comments below. For more videos of the third generation Tacoma, subscribe to my channel. In the meantime, thanks for watching.